In this photo taken by NASA of Mars, back in 2008, there are many interesting objects that can be seen. Only this time it's not an alien face. A pyramid. Or a crashed UFO. No, this time, it's more natural. Plants can be seen in the Martian sand dunes, this on a planet in which no life has been officially announced. How can plants survive on a planet with no water? It's a great question but, here they are. After looking at this photo there can almost be no doubt, but could they be just an optical illusion? In the article the photo was posted in by High Rise, there is not one mention of them. What? What could be so bad about saying there's plant life on Mars? I guess that would simply be admitting there's life there. This is one of the most interesting stories out there right now. Allegedly two pyramid-like structures have been found off the coast of New York City by using Google Earth. Discovered by YouTube user, Sandra Elena Andrade, on July 24, the structures are indeed massive. Let's take a closer look. The first one, as you can clearly see, is extremely visible even before we go to street view. But once we do, the object or whatever it is is massive. A few miles south from this pyramid-like building, is another one just like it. They both measure in at around 4 miles tall, and can be seen from miles away. What could they be? Ancient pyramids that have been lost to rising ocean levels. Alien buildings hidden in the vastness of the ocean. Hopefully there are answers out there. The explosion of a SpaceX rocket on September 1st at Cape Canaveral in Florida was a shock to most in NASA. But what is more shocking is what might have caused the blast to happen. Many in the UFO community believe this disaster was caused by an object that flew directly over the rocket as it blew up. If we take a look at the frames during the blast, we can see an object come in from the right. Once it does, 
the rocket erupts and bursts into flames. Now some may say it was a bird, but does a bird look like this? It looks like an orb, and appears to be metallic. Birds do not reflect the sun. So was it an alien drone? Or military drone that took the doomed rocket out? UFOlogists believe it was aliens. But that's for you to decide. According to news out of Norway, and reported by Fox 32 in Chicago, more than 300 wild reindeer were killed by lightning, in what wildlife officials are calling an unusually large natural disaster. But something is very bizarre about the footage taken. None of the deer seem to have any signs of electrocution, and one even seems to be decapitated. Is something going on out there we are not being told? Could this have been some kind of animal mutilation event performed by alien beings? It's hard to believe that even a dozen animals could be electrocuted at the same time, let alone over 300. But this is just speculation. Cow mutilations have been happening for decades now, as well as many other animals. This may be one of the largest to ever take place if it is alien beings at work. But that's for you to decide for yourselves. Scott C. Waring is reporting a very interesting story on UFO sightings daily.com. A keyhole shaped kofun, that is located in Gyoda Saitama, Japan, has an identical twin but it is located on Mars. The site in Japan is known as Inarayama Kofun, which is a tomb, was constructed between the early 3rd century and the early 7th century AD. Now let's look at the identical area on Mars. <laughs> 